Hey everybody. Uh, today's gonna be a short one because we've had like half hour long videos lately. Um, basically, Buckle Guy is coming out with a couple new presses. I'm gonna go over the first one that they still sell, but they made it look really nice. And I'm gonna do that because I don't think we've ever really gone over it in like a dedicated video. And also I have some hacks and tips and fun stuff that you can do with it. Um, and lastly, I don't want you to think you have to have the nicest press to do everything. Their new presses are awesome. I'll show you a little sneak peek of the sample, but um, you can do a lot of stuff with the lowest tier press, and I want to go over that today. I also want to open this up and see the color because the old one is like green with lime green. I'll show you, and uh, it's not it's not the vibe. So. Okay, first of all, no disrespect, but. Uh, this press is extremely useful and extremely ugly. I'm also gonna show you a little sneak peek of this baby. Um, I think they sold out of the first batch. I mean, built in tool holder and they had the balls to include tool holders for every other die. You have a bunch of weaver dies, they fit. You have a bunch of other dies, they fit. Even the buck guy dies, of course they're gonna fit. We went with just like a classic industrial 50s color that's gonna match pretty much anything and just little details like the plates and stuff I wanted to make sure we got in there and I didn't I think they just used the same color on this I didn't have much say in this at all but I, I want the new one because it's so cool and here we go Okay, so all we have to do to set this up is we take this bolt out, we put the handle in, and we thread this bolt back through, and we tighten it. And that's it. Now we have a working press. And they left the handle polished stainless, which is sick. Um, because it goes with, here, let me turn it this way. You have the buckle guy there, and then the paint on the inlay, um, and it's gonna match. We're not gonna have red and green tools anymore, guys. We need to have nice neutral colors in our shop. Super, super excited. So, like I said, not gonna be a long video. Let's get into some tips and tricks. First thing you wanna do is mount this to your workbench with some number 10 screws. I think 12s will work to your 8s. I don't remember if they grow up or down with size 8s. I think 10s or 8s will work fine, and mine are just drilled straight into studs. Uh, and you want this overhang. On this one, uh, the plate is being moved back, so this whole thing will be overhang. You can obviously mount this all the way up to the edge if you wanted to, so you can get bags and all that good stuff in there. Uh, Buckle Guy is kind of famous at this point for the way their die sets work. You can buy the hand setter, which comes with this piece and a handle, and then any die set. One piece will slide into the setter base. One piece will screw into the handle. This is no different. This will install into the base, and this will screw right up into this little guy right here. And you can set how far you want your handle to go down using this screw right here. So first tip and or trick, whether you should buy the original, oh my god, the color, I can't get over it. I'm just so happy to have the, the green out. Ooh, ooh. Um, anyway, the original one, or the super nice one, um, this is, again, I'll do a whole video on this once they're in and ready to go. But uh, one of the big things is that if you happen to have, I had three little wonders, um, these die sets are $140 each. These are $40 each. So this basically entire row of dies costs as much as these two sets. Um, so you don't have to throw out your old dies or get new dies. Now it's not that expensive to replace them if you do get this die set, this press, but it's nice to be able to use them still with this press. I prepared a little strip here. A lot of you guys last week when I made my belt were like, wait, what did you do with that rivet? So I figured I'd just show you a couple little tricks I've had up my sleeve for years. Uh, that you can do with a rivet press, and if you have multiple sizes of setters that are self-centering, which is important because Buckle guys are and a lot of other companies are not, um, 
you can do this and make your rivets look super cool. So first step is we need to just set our rivets. So I'm gonna use the normal sized setter that I would use with this rivet. Pop it in there, it's self-centering, and it's on. You don't have to worry about anything. We're gonna do a couple, so we'll pop that guy in there. And same thing. Um, I've gone over how easy this thing is in production, and that's not even including the new big one, oh, or having a foot press for this one, but you're always gonna get centered. These, these dies are always gonna be centered on this press, so that allows us to do cool things like this. Now what I've done is I've installed the top setter for a rivet that is smaller than this setter, but since this will hold this rivet centered, you got to be careful with it because they don't always come up perfectly centered. But it's a good way to emulate your traditional rivet and burr without actually installing a rivet and burr. See that? Just adds a little bit of detail. And you can go harder than that, obviously. I'm just pushing really slow because I have a camera three inches from me. But since this holds the centered, it allows you to add that detail, which looks really nice in my opinion. And you can go a step beyond that. You can use a bigger die. And I've only been able to do this a couple times. It's, it's harder to do this with frequency, just because like it is a machine, like it's self-centering to a degree, but this is not, you know, lab equipment here. So this is one size down from this. So in theory, when I got it to work once, it gave like a really cool ridge to the outside. Now before I press down, I'm gonna check all the way around this and see, cause sometimes you just have to lean it. I think it might work, so let's see. Eh, kinda. If I had the foot press, I think that would be. Let me put more weight on it. There we go. Yeah, not that great. Which is why you experiment. This one looks super cool. This one's like, how, why did you screw up setting that rivet? <laughs> Here's another one that's super cool, but you don't actually set it. So we're gonna use the bottom of the pop rivet die set, and we're gonna use the top of the base for a line 20 snap. This one's very cool. But we're not gonna set the rivet first, we're just gonna set it with this top. So you have to be kind of careful if there's any wiggle. There we go. And, oop, am I too far away? So this gives you Nice kind of divot, and then if you that's line 24, whatever the bigger one is, that's line 20. So you can get a lot of different looks, excluding that one. But using your collection of dies, don't just stick to the dies that are meant for each one. I'm all the way down here, okay? So that's gonna be a super quick video, um, but. It's something I've been doing for a long time and I didn't know that it was kind of in the zeitgeist of leather work. Um, yeah, just use your dies for different stuff. Um, I'll put some detailed pictures at the end. Some of these look really cool. Some of them might not be your style. That's totally cool as well. But it's a really nice way to kind of mess around with the tools that you do have to create creative looks. Um, if you don't want to set and paint a rivet, this is going to get you pretty much 80% of the way there in the looks department. and you don't have to hammer super late at night if you have neighbors or upstairs or downstairs or anything like that. Um, is it gonna be as strong? No, of course not. It's not solid copper, solid brass running through. It's tubular brass, but it's still, um, it's still a tubular rivet, right? Um, that being said, I've never had a tubular rivet fail. Uh, maybe I haven't been in business long enough, but it's a way to kind of escape the everyday norm of tubular rivets and add a little bit of detail where you otherwise might just have a plain rivet.
you have the small press now in the coolest color ever. And go mess around with rivets because pop rivets can be really a really fun addition. Or if you're stuck with having to use them, this is a cool way to zhuzh them up a little bit. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next one. Am I out on my own now? So we'll see you in the next one. I'm not going to do that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.